There are times when you must consider getting a lawyer's perspective. Ideally, that's before you speak with a reporter. Here's a cross-section of examples of when you or your company will want to consult with a lawyer. 1. Suppose you or someone in your company insulted someone else or said something negative about them or their product in a very public way. You may be thinking about putting out a statement of, say, apology, and you're wondering if you are going to put your foot in, into some mud because of the fact that you know, maybe the apology means some lawyer who might sue you one day will pounce on that as some sort of admission. 2. Perhaps you or your company are coping with a crisis situation and you know you have to make some kind of public statement. Further, the pressure is on because in almost all cases, saying something sooner is better than saying it later. But what do you talk about? What do you avoid talking about? You know, if your ferry has just sunk, or if your product has just poisoned somebody, um, or if uh, somebody has just uh, uh, slipped and fallen and, and badly injured themselves in, in your premises, uh, or, or if uh, there's some talk of bankruptcy or something like that. All of those are, are situations where there's a, you know, th there, you're only one, you know, one giant step away from being in a courtroom, either, either as a party or as, as an implicated party. And so in all those situations, you've got to think, well, okay, the, the move I want to make is X. How is that going to interfere with or help or, or, uh, or cause me problems if it ends up in court? Three. A lawyer can help you to get very clear on the facts you want to present. And facts are something that cannot and should not be changed once they have been stated publicly. You know, if somebody, um, if somebody wants to ask you, well, you know, when exactly did you guys know about this tainted food problem and how many days or hours was it before you let the public know? That's a pretty pointed question. And you better be right because, because those facts will come out in a lawsuit and if you have you know, spun those facts in a way, even if you believe them to be true, but you've presented them publicly in a wrong way, you've got a problem. So oftentimes that process of going through the questions can lead to some questions themselves that we need to get straight before you go public. Four, when you're addressing that crisis situation, not only do you need legal advice on what you can and cannot say, but also you want advice on how to say it, on the words and phrases that you should be using. Let me use an example, apologizing for something. Let's say you, you, uh, you run a company that runs a product and the product has uh, found to be, found to be tainted or something like that. If you are going to go public and say, look, we recognize the problem, we apologize to the, our, the, our customers, uh, here's all the things we're doing to fix it, well, those are all great positive messages, but there's, um, you know, there's a potential plaintiff's lawyer sitting there recording that and planning to use the apology as Exhibit A to show that you know you were at fault. Uh, and, and the other part of it is, so, so you choose your words very carefully. Um, you know, words can um, be chosen carefully so that you, you send the right message without putting yourself in the glue. Um, and the other thing you can do is, is you can choose words that, that actually help you in the situation of a lawsuit. You can, you can set up what you've done. Well, there are some very obvious situations as to when you need to seek the advice of a lawyer. There are also lots of gray areas where you might find yourself saying, hmm, I just want to avoid the hassle and the expense of engaging a lawyer. It's a tough call. Sometimes it just boils down to listening to your gut. So, so all the situations where you, where you think that you may you know, like you're feeling uncomfortable, you're wondering what the implications are. I mean, trust your spider sense and call the lawyer.